electrical fire that we had in, in behind the cockpit. So uh, we're going to get it back here in a few minutes and see if we can repair it before we go back. And two cars into the wall. It looks like Kevin Kogan down to the inside and perhaps Roberto Guerrero. Very hard to tell. Is that the 20 or the 40 car? From the helmet, I would say Guerrero. Indeed it is. Roberto Guerrero and Kevin Kogan tangled. It's good to see Guerrero getting out, Paul. Look how badly the car bent up. He hit pretty hard. Remember, Guerrero had a terrible crash here a few years back that really interrupted his career. He was uh, hurt in the head. He was in a coma for many, many days. It's good to see him out and okay here. Roberto Guerrero climbs out of the car. These cars can take some incredible punishment. They are designed with so much safety in mind. That's one of the Alpha cars now, one of the two Alpha cars in the race Roberto's driving. And of course, the other one is driven by Danny Sullivan, so a star cross day for the Alfa Romeo team. And A.J. Foyt with his hand up indicating he was in that the he's crash. going Look, down. look at the uh, left the front. The yellow, of course, is an accident that involved A.J. Foyt, Roberto Guerrero, and Kevin Kogan, who is now out of the car. But you can see the USAC safety crews and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway safety being very careful with Kevin. We'll uh, keep a close track of this situation with Kevin Kogan. Look in the upper right-hand corner here as we look back toward the situation that set up this yellow. Both cars hard into the wall long before they were into the corner, corner, Bobby. Well, they certainly did, and of course, we didn't see it soon enough right there in that shot to be able to make a call on it, why it happened, but boy, I'll guarantee you they both hit the wall hard, and obviously from all the damage, we could see that anyway, but there's Kogan behind. And you know the the new cars. You know you can see with the new everywhere. Roberto Guerrero in the foreground. Yeah, look Kevin at Kogan in the upper part of the screen. Yeah, Kogan, uh, Kogan. You know something might have gotten into the cockpit. Uh, the car didn't look like it was bent up super super bad. So probably one of the rods came through or something. Paul. Well, maybe that last replay will give us the most information on what happened to Kevin Kogan. Kevin and the Kogan, others. We'll take a look at old. it again. Palos Verdes, California. There it is. Now let's look at the cars that are running just behind. Imagine uh, the guys trying to dodge all the tires. And AJ was caught by debris. He actually had the car well down under control. Take a look now. All right, now watch AJ Foyt's car. It's the black car on the inside. And Sam, a piece of debris right there. And see that debris bouncing in front of AJ's car? That debris is a tire. Oh, he hit a tire and hit it hard, Paul. It's almost too small, Bobby, to be a tire. It looks like another part of the wheel assembly, perhaps the brake caliper or something. Whatever it was, it was heavy, and it did incredible damage to the front end of AJ's car. And Kevin Kogan caught the wall on both sides of the car. He is now in the ambulance and going back to the Hanna Emergency Medical Center here at the track. One more look. Both cars hard against the outside wall at a most unusual place. I've not seen an accident in that area of the track in a very long time. They ride the wall and then they come off the wall with the rest of the field coming down. And you know what Bobby said about it seemed as if Kevin might have been hit in the head. He didn't seem to be sitting forward in the cockpit as he crossed the track. They cheer across on both sides. Looks like Ray Hall's done. As we wait for Ray Hall, let me continue with the condition of Kevin Kogan. He has a fractured right arm, a fractured right forearm, and a fractured right thigh. Dr. Terry Trammell will operate on him this afternoon. Let's go to Jack Aru. Well, probably the most simple way. Phil tried to drive the track. Now, let's take you for a moment back to last year's race. In the 30th lap was the most serious accident of the race that took out A.J. Foyt, Roberto Guerrero, and Kevin Kogan. It caused a lot of controversy. Here's a different view of that accident as Kevin Kogan veered up into Roberto Guerrero. This is a home video that was taken from the grandstand and has the most telling evidence of what caused that accident. So Roberto Guerrero was very concerned because he was accused of causing the accident. Sam Posey, what was the reality? Well, let's have another look at what happened from this home video. You can see the two cars in question with Kevin Kogan here on the inside and Roberto Guerrero on the outside as they came into the turn here. Now watch carefully as Kogan actually moves up and gets Guerrero there. 
Kogan now headed for the wall. Roberto Guerrero headed on down the track. Ironically, Kogan very badly hurt in this crash, unable to be here this year. Roberto Guerrero badly hurt in a crash here in 1987, but he has recovered, and he is here now with Gary Gerald.